Food is what I'm talking about. Healthy food, yes. I see, my problem with the healthy food is I grew up in Scotland, and we didn't have much in the way of healthy food. You know, at school, at the school uh, lunches, we got uh, what they called mince. It was just minced meat. Well, it wasn't even meat, really. It was uh, globs of fat and beef hooves. <laughs> It's kind of like a, it's like a sloppy joe, only uh, sloppier and hoovier. <laughs> and they would give you this custard. They'd give you this, um, this purple and pink custard. Yeah, it was kind of day glow. Like, you, you turn the, if, in the winter, it would glow in the dark of the dining room. <laughs> and here's a, here's a rule. You shouldn't really eat food with colours that don't occur in nature. You know what I mean? You shouldn't. I mean, if something looks like a carny ride, don't eat it. Because <laughs> people think people in Scotland only eat haggis. You know, but that's not true. They only eat haggis on special occasions. For, like, for surviving your first heart attack, you get a bit of... Well, congratulations! You've joined a very elite club! Now, a lot of the American companies, uh, the, uh, the workplace, are trying to encourage employees to be healthier, to cut down on medical costs. Now, I'm okay with that. The encouragement is fine. But there are some companies are now monitoring what people eat at home. And, and, and to check if they're showering, which is, I'm okay about that. <laughs> but some employers take hair samples to find out if, if an employee is a smoker. Do you know about this? They, they, take, they, they do that now, which is ludicrous. You don't need to do that. If you want to know if someone is, you can tell if a person is smoking or not by how cool they are. If they're cool, <laughs> probably yes. <laughs> I gave it up, but, and, and look what happened. I'm in the same category as Barry Manlow. <laughs> That's what happened. Which, which, is a, which is a great honour, but nobody's idea of cool, let's be honest. <laughs> anyway, the healthy food. Now, it's, it's uh, food shopping as well. When you do the food shopping, people say you, you, should not, um, you shouldn't shop for food. You don't go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Um, uh, or, or horny. Never shop when you're horny either. <laughs> You always buy the wrong thing. Who needs a dozen floppy melons and a couple of cucumbers lying around? It? <laughs> <laughs> Try explaining that away. Um, it's the same thing with relationships, I think, really. If you're feeling desperate or lonely, that is not the good time to get into a relationship. You should only get into a relationship when you're already in a relationship. <laughs> It's always worked for me. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a round of applause there for cheating, but no. no. <laughs> you haven't come that far yet. <laughs> ah, there's still hope. Uh, eating healthy. It's hard to eat healthy, though. When I worked on the Drew Carey show, they, they, um, they used to have great heaps of food every day. would be lying around the, the stage. And, like, it was like a medieval banquet. Drew, I'm not kidding, Drew would fly a, a mustard in from Cleveland, this special stadium mustard, mustard from Jacobs Field in Cleveland. He'd fly it in, first class. First class, this mustard would come in from Cleveland, and pies and, and baked goods, and every day in the center of the table, there'd be this giant pig with a, a red apple in its mouth. <laughs> yeah, that might have been Drew. I, I can't. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But when I worked at the Drew Carey show, it was kind of like a microcosm of what it would be like if fat people ruled the world. And, and you know what? It was great. Because <laughs> I, I, I get cranky when I'm hungry. I think all men get cranky when they're hungry. I think it's, it's the male equivalent of PMS. It is. P, PFS. Pre-feeding syndrome for guys. But an hour before a meal every day, that's my time of the day. A guide to figuring men out. Ladies, it's not that complicated. We are not that complicated. If your man is cranky, it's one of two things. He's hungry or he's horny. That's it! <laughs> Feed us, shag us, we'll do anything you like. Anything you like! It's true. It's true. See all that, all that stuff, all that, all that stuff that you do with each other. What do you think he meant by that? He didn't mean anything by that. <laughs> What do you think he meant when he said that? He meant he was hungry and he wanted a shag. That's what he meant by that. <laughs> when, uh, when you get past 40 as well, uh, you, uh, you start gaining weight, I've noticed, uh, on other people. Not on me. 
Uh, I'm only 31. I, uh, I don't know, I think elves sneak in at night and pack meat on my ass. I, uh, they do in my dreams anyway. And one of the elves looks like Orlando Bloom. <laughs> oh, that's... We can edit that out. I didn't mean that. But now you hear about people that have all sorts of eating problems about, you know, uh, eating in the middle of the night. Scientists have documented this thing called uh, sleep eating. You know, where people get up in the middle of the night and just eat. Now, I, I've got it. It's very bad. I don't even just go to the refrigerator. I, I leave the house. I go to a restaurant. <laughs> I ask about the specials, I order, and then I eat, and then I skip the, uh, skip the bill. I leave the restaurant. <laughs> I, and I'm European, so I sleep naked. You know what I'm saying?